Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will talk about the Genesis 8 character that was recently released by Dast 3D. Let's head over to the website and look at the features of this new character and how these affect our use in Unity. Firstly, there's the Power Pose expression interface, which is a tool inside of Dast Studio to create poses for the character. However, if you're like me animating the character in Unity or Blender or Maya, then this will really have no effect on you. There's a new eyelash system, which means eyelashes are now separate objects and you can apply separate materials to them. We will look at this in Unity. There's a new default pose, more realistic fingers, tools, and nail beds, a new shader. Now this shader is being used in the studio to render your character. However, if you're using the character in Unity, you will use separate shaders anyway, so this will again have no effect on you. Everything is expected to be compatible between Genesis, Genesis 2, and Genesis 3, and this new character. However, I found it to be sort of a mixed bag. Some items were compatible, while others were not. You really just have to try and see for yourself, or purchase items on the um, DAS 3D shop that really say clearly it is compatible with Genesis 8. Now, the next two items here improve the, the rig. There is uh, improved abdomen, shoulder, and collarbone bends, um, muscle flexion, and heel and toe bending for better shoe support. And um, I found the, the rigs to be slightly different, but there is not a, not a lot of difference. Uh, morphing, the character comes with a, a few morphs that you can use out of the box, which is quite nice. Now, incredible detail means that the shape, uh, the anatomy of the character was probably improved again slightly. And uh, just about all the other things are just very minor changes. All right, how do you get this character? It's quite simple. You use the install manager and you would have to look under uh, ready to download and make sure that you have the current uh, DAS Studio software. And uh, you would also have to look for the um, basic character. They're called Genesis 8 Female Starter Essentials. So make sure that uh, they should be in ready to download. You simply download them and then they should show up in your DAS Studio software. Once in DAS Studio, you will see here that under figures there is a new Genesis 8 Basic Female. Let's double click that. Okay. Now let's have a look at materials and see whether there's anything out of the box. Yes, there is a base material. Now, that is an interesting color, but we will simply use it as is. Now, we can also look at the morphs over here that come out of the box. So there's quite a number of them. Some of them are new expressions that are called Angry HD, Afraid HD, and so on. And you can see that they morph the, the faces, and those are quite nice. And you can export them to Unity as well, as described in other videos. Now let's give this character some, some hair and some, some clothing. Now, if we uncheck here, fil filter by context, you will see that uh, we can try to fit some of the older hairstyles to this character. Now this here, Aubrey hair should work. Uh, we have to auto fit it. Uh, Aubrey hair was originally for Genesis 2 and it is a shorter length hair. As I mentioned, some items will actually fit nicely to the new character and while others will not. This one works. And let's have a look at clothing items. The character comes with some basic underwear outfits by default. Let's apply this and let's export to Unity. Make sure it's FBX 2014. Let's export some morphs. And let's have a look here. The character has separate eyelashes, as you can see, and the character per se has 32,736 triangles and 170 bones. This compares to 172 bones of the Genesis 3 character. I'm not exactly sure which two bones were scrapped in this rig, but uh, there's only minor differences. Now let's have a look at the characters in Unity. You can see here side by side the two characters. On the left you can see the Genesis 3 model in a T pose and on the right side there is a slightly modified pose with a 45 degree angle and the legs slightly further apart. If you look at the hierarchy here we can see the only difference really is that the 
eyelashes are separate objects for the Genesis 8 character. And apart from that, the differences are very, very minor. If we were to look at the hands where there's supposed to be better nail beds, now this is the hand of Genesis 3, and this is the hand of Genesis 8. I really cannot spot any differences, but you know, if you are developing a uh, manicure simulation or something like that, then this might be relevant. I, I don't know. Now, other than that, there's really just very minor differences, and they're just about the same size as well in terms of file size and uh, triangles and vertices. So the question for you then really is, do you already have a lot of Genesis 3 content? And are you going to use a lot of the tools that are improvements within that studio? So if you like to pose your characters in that studio and create renders of your characters in that studio, then this might be a good upgrade. Me personally, I will probably wait and see what other uh, characters and content will become available because for the Genesis 8 upgrade, you will again have to purchase some morphs from third-party vendors. For example, the uh, growing up morphs that are very popular and can create younger characters like you can see in the background here. And there's other morphs that are also not compatible, like the face and body morphs that come from Das Originals that you would have to repurchase again. So it's really just uh, those minor differences between Genesis 3 and 8 where you have to make a decision whether it's worth it for you or not. All right, thanks for watching.